They are the biggest protest in Tunisia since the revolution that sparked the Arab Spring. Thousands took to the streets, angered by the assassination of opposition leader Shukri Belaid. The secularist politician was shot at close range outside his home in the capital Tunis and died in hospital. Belaid's criticism of the post-revolution government had made him unpopular with opponents. The Prime Minister responded by addressing the nation. He promised a new government in a clear move to dampen tensions between secularists and religious groups. To learn a lesson and to take responsibility, I've decided to form a technocratic government that doesn't belong to any political party, working for its country, for a specific mission, which is, as a caretaker government, until a parliamentary election is held quite quickly. Jabali's ruling Enahada party condemned the attack, but it was where the opposition laid the blame. We hold responsible the government, the Ministry of Interior, al nahda party and specifically its leader for the assassination of our comrade Chokri Belaid. They are the ones who encourage violence and they are the ones who encourage terrorism. This is the most high-profile political assassination since the popular protests that ended the 23-year rule of Zain El Abidin Ben Ali. Since then, the government has been trying to control violent Salafist groups, including those behind the attack on the U.S. Embassy in Tunis last September. This is a threat, a message which we will never acknowledge or succumb to. We reject this crime and we will unmask the enemies of the revolution. The process of democratization shall continue. Two years after the overthrow of the country's dictator, a political atmosphere fractured between secularists and religious groups has been split wide open. The country that ignited the Arab Spring is experiencing its troubled legacy. Rodri Davis, Al Jazeera.